Let's Bobby. try. I'm going to coffee. Perfect. It's cold. Bo Jackson's right over there. You guys need a black guy in your life. <laughs> I know. He's on every podcast. He's on everyone's mind. That's not my Listen, voice. yeah, guess the body weight of this individual speaking. Just let's hear some numbers. How do you get 180? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys hang out with a very skinny crowd. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe in kilos. Yeah, maybe in kindergarten. <laughs> maybe in kindergarten he was 180. Oh my God. Not even close. The guy's like 350. Duh. You're being very generous. <laughs> Mark's very kind. Yeah. He's he's off the scale. I don't so, know. Off yeah, the charts. Off the, off the team. Yeah, off the looks, kind of looks like Shrek. He just yeah. told us uh, two days ago he's moving to San Jose and he just walked out. <laughs> he said, <laughs> said, San Jose it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Left. Haven't seen him since. He's been that super training longer than most people besides these two. And You've seen him before, Ashley, the guy with the big beard. The really handsome, the gym, large around, devil. Around the, uh, old gym kind of a redhead. Oh, I totally kind of recognize. He's yeah. fat. Tried repulsive. to erase it from your mind. Uh, <laughs> you got, got a lot of those. In yeah, here. a lot of a lot of chubsters in here. Are you either one of you guys chubby chasers? <laughs> you guys got into the fitness world for a reason. Yeah, yeah. In a power thing, Jim. You know, you got some. We got some chub. Oh, there you go. Oh, That's an old is. picture of him where he looks yeah, here skinny. Like, there you oh, go. Yeah, he just commented on one of my pictures. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> not only is he fat, yeah, he's a creeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just liked every photo from December 2014. <laughs> no, he said he wanted one of my beaver shirts in a 3XL, but I didn't make him in 3XL. Yeah, oh. he needs a he needs a 4XL yeah. yeah. first of all. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, you only sell women's tanks, and he wants one for some hell? reason. <laughs> what a creep! I have t-shirts, but they only go to two X. Oh, where the hell does he work? He works in Davis, right? Uh, Wonder Bar. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah. out the Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. I think I was trying to say it with an accent. <laughs> oh, wonder. Oh, like yeah, German. Isn't Wonder Bar. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it'd be a V or something. Yeah, it's Wonder Bar. One of you two German? No. 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 Uh, you both could have mm. been maybe. No. Hmm? no. Not even close. The Swedish. See that? That's close enough. Oh, Beaver. What, what, what kind of last name is that? <laughs> you guys are. Uh, I don't know. You don't know yeah, your. Yeah, what is that? You don't know your well, background. I mean, half my family's from Belgium. I think I know where it comes from. The other half <laughs> is just from like Oklahoma. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Back from there. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well. So sorry. <laughs> well. At the end of the last uh, podcast, uh, I think Mike said uh, "Foch" because we were talking about having you guys on this one. Yeah. And uh, he's like, that rhymes with, and I said, <laughs> beaver. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I've heard all those. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think I have it worse than yeah. you. <laughs> no, it's a great combo. It's, it's a really, really fucking <laughs> tag so team champion. Okay, so you, you yeah. guys are. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's the only reason yeah. we've been invited yeah, Camille to Yeah, Camille LeBlanc <laughs> doesn't have the same <laughs> ring. Nope. So you guys have been dating. How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well. Uh, yeah, started a few hours ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God damn, I knew I knew the magic would happen once you guys started doing those squats. Mm-hmm. It happens like that. Anyway, what do you guys got going on, Colleen? Uh, your background, you were a swimmer. Uh, just talk about you know what you're doing now, and um, I know you're a strength coach, but just talk a little bit about that. Talk us through it. Yeah, so I graduated from Cal in 2012. Was swimming there for three years. Transferred from Notre Dame. Uh, it's My only like year. one of the best swimming schools in the world. From Notre Dame? Like, yeah. Not, Touchdown not, Jesus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not really Touchdown Jesus in the building. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a rough freshman year, so I decided to uh, leave Did you gain the freshman 20 or whatever? <laughs> it was 15? Was uh, it? Probably 10 to 15. No, there you go. Those Catholics. <laughs> yeah. A lot of booze. I know how it, it goes. Get, it gets cold. There's not much to do. Yeah. Mm. Good dorm food. It's, Yeah. So and lose, lots lose. of booze, I'd imagine. Right? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> lots. Not much else to do there. Sorry, mom. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So went to Cal. Um, loved it. We won two national championships while I was Sweet. there. So that was awesome. Um, and then a year later, got a strength and conditioning coach uh, job there. So I work with women's swimming, men's polo, men's and women's diving, water polo. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a dream job. Obviously, I wanted to coach uh, D1 athletics for forever and thought it was, you know, five, eight years down the line. And There's some Olympians there, aren't there? 
Yeah, we have um, right now Missy Franklin was on the team for the past two years. She was like in the Olympics when she was like 17 or something. Yeah, has crazy. fair amount of gold medals. So yeah. It's, um, yeah, ass kicker, huh? Yeah, she's incredible person, <laughs> incredible athlete. Um, was very intimidated to <laughs> coach her at first. Um, You're just but trying not to hurt her, right? Exactly. Let me just get like, out don't of, ruin anything. Let me just get out of your way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, this is your got, corner. Yeah. Just caution her <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> Put her bubble around. Yeah. Um, we have about, I'd say, four or five Olympians on the team. Damn. We've got um, one from Spain, Egypt, um, the U.S., obviously. Um, you treat yeah, them equally? <laughs> Training them. Yes. You're training them in the enemy room? <laughs> Son of a. You don't sabotage them a little bit when the Olympics come around? <laughs> no, no. Uh, but, yeah, they're all great. I love it. Um, yeah. Where are you from? Very cool. Not California? I am. So it's usually a loaded question because I've moved everywhere, it feels like. Uh, I was born in the Bay Area, moved to Illinois when I was six, then moved to Maryland when I was 13, then back to California, and now my family's in Illinois. So kind of all over, but yeah, Coast I to love coast. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ashley, tell us a little bit about uh, the beaver bites you got going on. Yeah, I started making um, my own protein bars back in August. Damn. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I um, have a paleo blog, and I um, blog recipes and stuff, and just realized about a year ago that I I was really passionate about this and kind of wanted to start my own product. Um, So I've been doing that. Um, And so I'm quite a few gyms around the Sacramento area now, and, uh, yeah, it's been really good. So I'm on my website and stuff. So Tell us a little bit about the, you know, the paleo diet. You know, a lot of the people listening, of course, are going to recognize the name and stuff, but what does it kind of mean to you? Like what what specific uh, things do you follow? Yeah, so I started the paleo diet a few years ago. Um, it's become really popular in CrossFit, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And it's just basically eating whole foods, you know, from the earth. And I just realized it's been made me feel really good. It's been really good for my performance, and I was like, this works for me. Things like pop tarts, yeah, and stuff exactly. like that. It's perfect, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, you <laughs> know, just grow out of the ground, like you know. <laughs> pop pop, pop tart tree. <laughs> Those pop tart trees are fantastic. What if you had a pop tart bush? Mm-hmm. Hey now. Um, Yeah, but so yeah, like chicken and meat, you know, all the meats, all the vegetables, fruit, uh, nuts and seeds and stuff. So um, yeah, it's basically no gluten, no grains, uh, no dairy, um, no sugar. So sorry, actually no Pop-Tarts. I get confused. Is (laughs) eggs dairy? It's in the dairy section. (laughs) It depends. You know, when you look at Don't laugh at me. (laughs) That's rude. When you look at a It's in the dairy section, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some places, yeah. (laughs) Thank you. I think what United came first? Oh, my God. I think the, the United the States is like the only country that refrigerates yeah. their yeah. eggs. So. When I lived in England and We're when the I only lived country in Australia, the brain. when I Thank moved you very much. to England, uh, I was like, I can't find the eggs. <laughs> I was like, they're this warm? is really weird. They just they just keep them on the shelf. Yeah. They don't so they're warm them. eggs. There's just a chicken <laughs> sitting on yeah, top. Yeah, just pops out. Move out of the way, God damn it. Yeah, they just room temperature. No. I mean, I'm assuming they'll go bad before they This sounds very sketchy. But no. And like... When I lived in Australia, my friends just kept them, you know, in the cabinet. And I was like, oh, wow. weird. <laughs> but, yeah, my very first experience, I was like, well, I literally walked around the grocery store like five times. I'm well, like, it sort of makes sense. <laughs> the only thing that, like, kills the salmonella poisoning is heat, not cold. Right? Mm. I don't know. Well, yeah, <laughs> I never thought all, about it. All cold I mean, when you, when you cook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That right, should yeah, yeah, get that. Yeah. Should. I don't know. Could you eat a frozen egg? <laughs> <laughs> no. I bet you haven't tried. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't sound very good. Yeah, I don't think I want to. So. You keep your room temperature <laughs> eggs yourself then. Yeah. I refrigerate them. Now that I'm back here, I refrigerate them. But when I was over there, I didn't. But maybe that has uh, something to do with how they're raised too. The eggs? I, yeah. I, I think maybe so, yeah. Well, like our chickens are all gross and like pumped with steroids. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Yeah. Over there, maybe the chickens are healthier. That's true. So just casually, you said you lived in, in England yeah. and you lived in Australia. What were you doing in those places? Uh, so I, I moved to England just for a semester. I studied abroad in England. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's my junior year of college. Um, we talked about your college days earlier. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we're not <laughs> Greek life. We're yeah. not supposed to talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. we're not talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I squat 270. I snatch. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I studied abroad in England, which was really cool, um, with one of my best friends. And before we studied abroad, we kind of were like, do we go to England or Australia? I didn't know any other languages, and I was like, well, we're going to an English-speaking country. So we chose England. Uh, and two years after we had graduated from college, we both hated our jobs, and we said, let's just quit and move to Australia. We've always talked about going to Australia. So um, I lived in Australia for two years. Same friend? 
yeah, my that's same pretty friend. cool. Yeah, so we we lived in both countries together, so it was kind of cool. We traveled a lot together, so it was really really good. Where, where did you live in each place? <clears throat> uh, I lived in London when I studied, so I studied in London, mm-hmm. and then I lived in Sydney on the okay. beach, which was amazing. We have, a, we have a lot of fans in both places, so oh. they're going to ask me that question. Yeah. So I might as well <laughs> right. ask you now. Cool. Might as well get it out of the way. Yeah. Yes. I and where did you go to school here? Uh, University of the Pacific in Stockton. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're training in Stockton with uh, Gabe, right? Yep, I train with Gabe. So I started training with Gabe my when I moved back from London. Subri? Subri, That's yep. the way you say his name? Yeah, there we go. Uh, my junior year of college, started uh, doing personal training with him. And this was before CrossFit. And then when I graduated from college and moved to the Bay Area, and I was like, what do I do now? Like, I don't have my coach anymore. And he said, find a CrossFit gym. And so back in 2008, I uh, started doing CrossFit. Um, and then I, of course, moved around. And then now I'm back back here and training with him again. So that's really cool. How long have uh, both of you been lifting weights? Uh, so I guess I started when I started CrossFit back in 2008. <clears throat> um, I lifted a little bit for swimming. So that was 2008. Um, and then started CrossFit almost two years ago. So and Let's just hear a couple of numbers, give you guys some street cred. Uh, maybe like deadlift, <laughs> squat, bench, clean snatch, something okay. like that. Iron cred. Okay. Uh, snatch 190, clean 245, um, and just jerk 250. And that was pretty awesome. <clears throat> um, deadlift, I think, is around 370. Um, squat, 310. Bench, I honestly have no idea. Throw the number out. <laughs> no, one will, um, no one will check. Three, 315. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 300 probably then. <laughs> Um, okay, my numbers aren't <laughs> quite as good. I've snatched uh, 185, clean 235, um, deadlift like 320, <laughs> and squat 290, and I think I think I bench pressed 220. Yeah, I yeah, you did yeah. about 220 yeah. <clears throat> before at Super Training. Yeah. yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, those are all strong. So one rep max bench at uh, regionals, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. no. When did you uh, when did you start gymnastics? I know you got a gymnastics background. Did you start that when you were real, really young? Yeah, I was uh, about eight years old when I started gymnastics, oh, shit. and I did it for about uh, eight years. What about yeah. swimming? Did you start that really young? Yeah, I would say I could swim around since I was three or four, and then tried every sport under the sun. Um, Sucked at them. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say so. I actually really enjoyed other sports way more than swimming. Absolutely hated swimming. Um, parents kind of pushed me into that one. Um, loved volleyball, loved basketball, but swimming was kind of picked for me. Uh, it definitely worked out really well. I wouldn't change it for anything. But, but yeah, I'm I'm lucky that I got to try everything. I think a lot of people, especially in swimming, get burned out. Yeah. So Were you young, decent so. at the other sports? Or good or bad or terrible? Uh, I'd say volleyball. I was relatively. I'm just not tall enough. Oh, it'd be, it'd be very <laughs> so. difficult to be a Division One level. No, of, yeah, I just mean uh, sports, like Mark no. and I talk about it. Like his wife's like a ridiculously good swimmer, and like she can't run Walk. that well. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Just like uh, swimming, you don't hear a lot of swimmers. There's not multi sport swimmers in college, right? You're right, not like yeah. a star on the football quarterback and then you're swimming. No. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit different coordination. Swimming's, yeah, what? there's a lot of, no offense to swimmers, there's a lot of very <laughs> uncoordinated swimmers. Yeah. Um, but I would say I was way more comfortable in the weight room um, more than I was. I mean, I love swimming um, and was, you know, I'd say good at it and comfortable, but. Uh, was definitely more comfortable on land, I would say, than most swimmers. So, you guys, hey, you're doing box jumps out there, and you didn't kill yourself. I yeah, almost yeah, fell on one. <laughs> yeah. Your shins yeah, are you, still intact. <laughs> yes, she was yes. being very careful on every one of them. <laughs> yeah, it was a little shaky. <laughs> you guys feel, uh, you know, your your history with athletics has helped you with CrossFit. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I did gymnastics, and there's so much gymnastics involved in CrossFit, so. That is that's helped me a ton. Was it last year you you guys did the handstand walks and you like kick everybody's oh ass or something uh, during handstand walk? Or what yeah, was we it? did a, a handstand walk for distance, which was yeah definitely one of my favorite events. Yeah. So um, yeah, last year. How was, far did you go? Uh, the length I think it was 120 feet. Okay. Um, individuals could go down and back, but I was on a team last year. We just did one one length. Um, so yeah, last year was a lot of gymnastics. Has they ever fuck you that. up just being upside down? <clears throat> just you know, like especially like I see you guys doing like uh, handstand walks in between other exercises. 
you know, you come back up from that handstand. Is it ever kind of like all that blood rush in your head? Does it ever mess you up or it doesn't matter? Um, I, it's not too bad for me. I think if I'm breathing heavy, um, it's a little hard because you're upside down. You kind of hold your breath. Right. And if you go t- forever, like your shoulders start to get smoked. Right. Um, yeah, like the workout we did today, it was kind of hard because it's breathing heavy and then our shoulders were smoked. Then we did handstand push ups. So, yeah, sometimes it gets hard, but <clears throat> definitely that's something I like doing. <laughs> You feel the swimming background helped you with uh, CrossFit, like especially now you're doing, uh, you know, some of these workouts take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, or not, they don't take that long, but sometimes the duration of a particular yeah. wad can go for 30 minutes or so, much like a swimming event, right? Yeah, I definitely think swimming, all the training I did definitely helps me physically and mentally. I mean, we did brutal sets that to this day, I don't think there's any CrossFit workout that could be more painful than some of the swimming workouts I've done. Um, I think definitely from a mental standpoint, just from competing and knowing, you know, how to mentally prepare. Um, I really want to see swimming in regionals would be yeah. great. <laughs> um, that was in the games, right? Yeah. 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 So got, got to get there to see it. In a, but I would have given anything to do like that uh, bar muscle up swimming workout from two years ago at the games. That looked like a lot of fun. Um, which I want to do. I want to start doing like those frogman challenge yeah. type things where you get to do some CrossFit, some swimming. Yeah, so it seems I tough. I think that'd be really cool. Um, what What is your, uh, both of you guys uh, kind of like, you know, I, I asked you in the interview earlier, you know, when you're done training, kind of asked you both about, uh, you know, kind of what CrossFit has done for women and, you know, what it what it's kind of done for you guys. You feel it, it, it has helped you guys to uh, be more comfortable with your bodies, that type of thing? Yeah, uh, a lot. I mean, I was saying earlier, um, you know, we were always kind of wanted to be skinny. Like, that's just what right. girls were supposed that's to like be. That's like Silent Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Silent Mike can relate. You know. It's not working so well. <laughs> um, Eating rice cakes and doing cardio. <laughs> yeah, and so that's ice all I Ice sandwiches. Do. Didn't you see a picture ice of that? Sandwiches. Yeah, ice Mark sandwich. saw a picture of someone eating, like, bread, ice, and bread. It said, almost payday. <laughs> 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 Seriously, though, I can remember having, like, so many, like, disordered eating habits, you know, just, like, eating, like, bowls of lettuce and, you know, cucumbers and just running on the treadmill for hours and just only caring about what I looked like. And now it's totally opposite. You know, it's all about performance and what my body's capable of. And I think, um, I still think CrossFitters look amazing and it's just a byproduct of what we do. Um, But strength and uh, capacity is just so much more important to me. Um, Yeah, I... And I just remember being miserable back then, you know, like it wasn't fun. I, you know, we have weren't so comfortable many... with your own body. No, and no matter how skinny I was, I wasn't happy, you know. And yeah. so it's really cool to be proud of what my body can do now. Mm-hmm. I 100% agree. I think it's really cool to find happiness and be proud of what we look like because of what we can do and not just oh, my abs look good, and oh, this, you know, I look She's talking to you, picture. smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Superficial bastard. <laughs> um, but no, I think CrossFit is an amazing platform that has empowered women tremendously to just be happy with who they are and not be afraid to, you know, lift heavy weight and be proud of that. I mean, I remember after swimming, I'd still go lift, but I was so scared to, you know, grab heavy dumbbells because I was scared that, you, you know, guys are both, are yeah, you guys up. are both jacked. I mean, you guys both have, you know, arms, you got some good shoulders on you, some good lats, uh, your legs, you got big quads and hamstrings and stuff. Do people give you like weird looks and your family members and stuff <laughs> uh, think like, what the fuck's going on with you guys, you know, kind um, of thing? Grocery shopping is always <laughs> interesting. <laughs> You're getting all that beef? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, put back a little bit yeah, of that, you know. Like, I've <laughs> honestly contemplated just, like, writing down what people will say to me at grocery stores. <laughs> you should. It, that should be a blog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, because it's, you know, like, we work out in really short shorts, and then I forget that that's we not normal. We appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, all these listeners yeah. appreciate we really, that. We really need that. <laughs> Yeah, you go to a grocery store and you're like, why is it uh, scary? <laughs> funny looks? Yeah, you guys are pretty deep in it, like we are in the fitness world, and like uh, our thoughts on everything are so different. You know, we were talking mm-hmm. about Dana Lynn Bailey earlier, and like yeah. Dana Lynn in the fitness world, like is an idol, but guys on the outside or even chicks on the outside are probably like, whoa, yeah. you know, like mm-hmm. that chick is too much. Yeah. But yeah. same thing with the shorts or whatever. I'm walking around in spandex sometimes, and guys are like, what the hell yeah. is yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah. But you're not in a, doing it in a commercial gym or the grocery store. 
Yeah, right. uh, yeah. Well, I have shorts on top. Okay. Well, well, I'm not that confident. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I think nothing that, a pair of socks can't solve. Yeah. <laughs> you either stuff or you're covering shorts. Yeah, that's right. I think maybe the uh, the evolution of like what women wear in CrossFit sort of came about because the workouts are hard and it's like you want to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. At some point, you just don't give a fuck. Well, mm-hmm. there's no yeah. clothes made for working out. Yeah, really, really. That are yeah. like you guys are wearing like volleyball clothes, kind of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, the stuff that I buy from, like, Lululemon is supposedly for yoga. Yeah, yeah. right. right. I, yeah. yeah, those yoga sluts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's definitely more comfortable. I mean, we're, like, sweating like crazy, you know? Right. And, right. like, yeah, doing pulls, you don't want your clothes catching on stuff. And so... Well, but yeah, part of I, it is just that it's sexy, too. I mean, you know, like it, it's, it's part of it. I mean, yeah. like, the shorts could be short, but they don't have to be, like, that <laughs> short. You know what I mean? But yeah. it, it is all part of it. I yeah. mean... Guys are no different, you know. Right. I think that's where we think, tank tops. Yeah. I don't think people. Uh, I don't think people talk about that enough, or even mm-hmm. realize that enough. Like I, I like pick out my clothes to come to the gym. I'm not yeah. like just grabbing whatever all yeah. the time, you know. That's because you only work out for Instagram. We'll yeah, talk yeah. about that as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like ironing my shirts. I don't go that far. Yeah. But you know, guys are similar. Guys yeah. want to look good. They want to feel good too. Right. And and when you feel better about yourself, you're going to perform a little bit better. You don't mm-hmm. have that extra one thing to fucking worry about, you know? Yeah. What's some uh, athletes you guys look up to? Is it kind of in the CrossFit world or is it in your past sports or? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah. Besides super training. Um, yeah. <laughs> Besides this one. <laughs> <laughs> Learned all my handstands from Smelly. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess no one in particular, like, comes to mind. Like, I mean, I watch the games and stuff and it just – Every, I mean, mostly the females, obviously, because that's what I'm aspiring to, to do. But they, you know, all the top level and just, like, get me so excited, you know, really inspire me. So just all those top level female athletes at the game Within CrossFit. Within CrossFit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, get me really excited to, to do that. And, you know, I think this year in the Open, I realized I finally have, I actually have a shot to be there. So to be amongst them would be, you know, pretty amazing. Um, Does that drive you and motivate you when you see another girl like, you know, kicking some ass that that maybe like last year they weren't as good or whatever? Does that kind of motivate you like, fuck, I got to get my shit together. I I know I can beat that person. Does that kind of get you off your butt a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. And like, I think I didn't even realize that I was at that level until the open ended this year. And when I realized I was, it was, you know, yeah, now I see what they do. And if they beat me, I'm like, I want to push harder. I want to I want to be there. I want to be with yeah. them, you know, competing amongst them. So they definitely all inspire me quite a bit. What uh, what kind of happens when you, you know, when you feel like you cover all your bases and you still get your butt kicked? <laughs> Have either one of you guys kind of faced that quite yet? I mean, because there's just there's just certain levels. Like, you know, I played football. Mike played basketball. And in those sports, those sports have been around forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The competition level is just insane the amount of athleticism yeah. how big and strong some of the people are is just off the charts and you you do get to a point where you're training hard for it you're eating well you're doing everything that you can think of mm-hmm. you simply don't have the genetics and you're just simply not as good yeah, as there's the no next answer guy. that guy <laughs> is better than yeah. me. you know have you guys run into that and it, you know if you haven't you know do you have like a kind of a backup plan if when you if you do hit that wall yeah, I think uh, it was funny, actually, my coach the other day, I was just telling Colleen we were doing deadlifts, and uh, it was like 21 reps, and he's like, you have to go unbroken on these, and it's like, I can't, it hurts, like, I don't, right. I don't want to, and he's like, the thing is, you're going to come, you're going to come to regionals or the games, and every female there is capable of doing what you can do, it just comes down to if you want to fight hard enough for it, if you want to make it hurt enough, and if you set that bar down, and uh, the person next to you doesn't, you're going to lose. And so I think that's, you know, maybe I don't have quite the skill of the person next to me. It's going to come down to how much I can push my yeah. brain to do it, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's that's what I've been training mostly. I think that's why I've broken down in practice so much the last couple of weeks. Because he's like, this is, it's mental now for right. you. Like, this is where you're going to excel. Maybe you. that's what makes CrossFit a little different than some other sports, too. Just because mm-hmm. it's not uh, simply like, you know, this guy's 6'8", and this uh, other guy's only mm-hmm. six foot. Yeah. you know. It's more of the mental aspect of just pushing through as hard as you fucking mm. possibly can. Yeah, I say I think once you're at that elite level with all these elite athletes that can literally do everything you can do, it just becomes a mental thing, and it's just how how hard can you push? How much are you willing to hurt at that right. point? Yeah, I know you and I talked a couple of weeks ago about uh, the grid league, and I was really surprised when you got passed over last year. I thought that somebody would pick you up because you seemed like a really strong competitor. And then I had a, <clears throat> a friend who was actually at the pro day this year, and I know you got picked up by by the fire. Um, this year who said that, you know, as good as you were last year, you were better this year. Yeah. And it just sort of sounds like the 
uh, the time that you put in trying to, to do better in the open and, and trying to advance in CrossFit plus whatever you've been doing with grit. I know you've been working with uh, uh, Chad Augustine a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. Um, has really sort of pushed you to another level this year. Yeah, definitely. I think last year, you know, not getting picked up, that was hard. Yeah. And I was thought, you know, I deserve to be here. I know I'm good enough to be here yeah. and I'm going to prove it. And so I've trained really hard the past year. And um, yeah, I'm lucky to have Chad as a training partner as much as I did. And yeah, I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to make it happen this year, right. no matter what it takes. So, right. yeah. Col- Colleen, you got drafted too. Yeah, you guys mm-hmm. are on the same We're team together. Made. What, uh, Teammates. what kind of made you guys decide to do that? Just another opportunity you want to go after? It's kind of a sport within a activity within a realm of yeah. fitness or, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, what attracted me to the whole thing was, first of all, the team aspect. I think, you know, in CrossFit, you're by yourself most of the time. I mean, unless you do. I mean, I've done team competitions and stuff like that. But this is all about the team. And that was one thing that I loved about swimming in college was the team aspect of it and I also love that you just get to focus on what you're really good at and CrossFit I think like I said earlier today brings you know brings up your weaknesses all the time and kind of knocks you on your ass every single day and grid's kind of cool because they're just like we just want you to do what you're awesome at and we want you to get even better at what you're awesome at so you just you get to go in and have fun, show off, and then when something comes up that you're that you suck at, you hide. Like, you're no longer available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out. My ankle. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good twist on you know the, what what they're doing with CrossFit, where it ends up kind of exposing everybody yeah. at some point, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where are you guys at? This is a great question here. I, at least I think it's a great question. Mm-hmm. Where are you guys at with boys <laughs> these days? Uh, I don't know where I don't know where I don't know where you guys stand. Yeah, we talked about chubby that. chasers. Yeah. You know, I, I know, I know it's, I know it's, I know it's definitely not something to uh, to post on Instagram because it's not popular. Like if if you had a if you post up a boyfriend, then psh, you're you know, <laughs> no one's gonna fucking like your pictures anymore. Right. But. Yeah. All those but pervs I got today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> all the pervs you're picking up. But screwmatch.com, you got about 100,000 guys listening right now. <laughs> yeah, you want to send sell a message them, sell to yourself. Them, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <really>. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> silence. That was a good question. All right, silence. next question. <laughs> uh, no comment. Not a lot of time for that. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, not a whole lot. In Some that. guys listening right now, yeah. so yeah. heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't they mentioning me? Yeah. <laughs> the boyfriend I back home. <laughs> <messages. laughs> oh yeah, no time for me, huh? Yeah. That's what I said last you. week when you wanted dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, Steve. Um, yeah, no, honestly, like, I've tried dating, but it's really hard. Like, I mean, I'm in the gym constantly. and Would it have to be a CrossFitter? I think it would. I mean, I think it would have to be at least someone that spends as much time in the gym as I do, or at least, I mean, even accepting it is hard because I'm just so I, busy. I'm, I'm married, by the way, ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm selling to myself <laughs> to you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Didn't work. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. We got he about owns the gym, <laughs> and you spend more time yeah. in the gym than he does. Yeah, that's yeah. true. true. The other problem is I train in Stockton, and, I mean, it's not the most... Slim pickings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, God honestly, damn, that was one Stockton. of the reasons I got into CrossFit. I was like, oh, oh, look, look at all these really attractive Where are guys? they? Where are they? Like, they're not at my gym. They're only yeah. on Instagram. Well, you didn't, <laughs> they're only right. on Instagram. You didn't realize they're only, only looking at each other. You can't get their attention to save your life, even with those short shorts. <laughs> That's why the short shorts are about to take the guys off eyes off of the other guys. Yeah, it's tough. It's rough, rich. rough out there. There are handsome men in this sport. Uh, I know that that, it, that it's hard to get like an Instagram. I mean, I'm a, a CrossFit name now. Like people are come coming up with really weird ones to be able to get things through because there's so many affiliates. Oh, yeah, but yeah. CrossFit yeah. Instagram, like go. it doesn't exist in reality. It's only on Instagram. Mm. I'm so confused. And then oh, what yeah, did you just say? <laughs> what did you say, Neo? <laughs> okay, so. I think he's talking about the future. Bear the with Matrix. me. Bear with me. So if, if you're getting a new CrossFit affiliate, it's hard to, to come open up a with a name. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Hard Super to come training CrossFit's taken. <laughs> yeah, okay, got it's it. It's hard to get them yep. because there are a right. million yeah. Yeah, yeah, affiliates. Yeah. So yeah. all the hot guys are on Instagram and cro- who are on CrossFit. So if you want to do start a... <laughs> 
a CrossFit affiliate, you had you could be CrossFit Instagram. Oh, there you and go. the guys would just like post their workouts, and they would never be a physical location. It's not really a gym. And they would <laughs> send you two hundred dollars a month. That kind of sounds like, like super training. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the newest uh, updates on Instagram: you can hashtag emojis. What? Oh yeah! Oh, oh really? Yeah. You guys oh, thought you were Instagram <laughs> famous. You don't know the ins and outs. Oh, Let me teach you a God. thing or three. There you go. Oh wow! Yeah. What else are you guys into? Oh, Anything that conversation else? didn't interest Movies. you. you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Well, no, they learned. I it. thought they're it was pretty cool. They're on it. They're on it. <laughs> you guys into movies or anything? TV? Uh, well, we know you make baked your, goods. Uh, you make your beaver yes. bites. You make yeah. your foods. Yeah. What about you? Can you cook, Colleen? What do we got going on? I here? like baking. Not yeah. not so much cooking. Um, so I get a cheat meal once a week. So I bake a lot. That's so really fat, by the way. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's that's um, a that's a fat person. I'm a fat talking. kid at heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It certainly is. Like you're actually preparing yeah. what you want to yeah. just. Sounds chow like down you on. and our uh, <laughs> announcer on this 350 pound podcast might. <laughs> yeah, have a little hey bit now. in common. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have a nutrition plan, I might end up somewhere close to that. <laughs> but um, no, last weekend I was telling Mike earlier I made a uh, chocolate chip. Cookies with an Oreo inside. Oh my! Just God. a hidden so. Oreo <laughs> inside of a, <laughs> another <laughs> baked good. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! Oh my God! Are that you sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, how did you get inside there? Yeah. That was physically <laughs> impossible. <laughs> so, They're really good. So, like, do you put it? Do you plop it down and then stick the Oreo in it? She said or? it turned yeah. into a muffin. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. So online, muffins are I bullshit, found, by the yeah. way. We've already had a whole podcast. Yeah, yeah, actual really muffins, muffins are cake. bullshit. Yeah. What you made sounds amazing, but muffins are, what, b- a bread in weird it's shape? Terrible. Yeah, it's yeah. bullshit. It's terrible. It doesn't taste very good. It's just yeah. the icing that's rather, great. Yeah, yes, but that's a cupcake. That's not even a muffin. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Those, yeah. Those, oh. That's what oh, I mean. Hey, now. So you take the Oreo, and then you take the cookie dough, and you have to put it around it. And then I put it in muffin tins, and then they ended up being <laughs> muffin size like rocks, cookies. boulders. <laughs> and nothing <laughs> happened to the Oreo while you're baking it? Yeah, what's nope. the no texture like change? Double bake, nothing like, happens? No. They're good. It's still like, oh, that's mm-hmm. weird. Well, the Regular. filling is shortening. Yeah, so. it's indestructible. <laughs> no, I just thought maybe the, yeah, it's true. It doesn't sound <laughs> like so you many chemicals. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. I burnt the shit out of it, nothing changed. <laughs> I tried to nuke it. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. It's not paleo. It does look no. good. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had about 20 left over, so I had to pawn them off on people. All those hot guys in the gym. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's how I get the guys. Did you get a date out of it? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Mm, of you a guys, bitch. Uh, you guys were smashing it today. That was a cool workout. You guys kind of mixed your workouts together. You, you had, uh, you have your own coach, and you have your own coach. You guys mm-hmm. talk about, you know, your coaching a little bit, the programming that you guys have done. Yeah. So I, James Kusama is my coach, and he's awesome and has done wonders for me in the last few months. Um, but today we kind of, it was cool. I got to jump in on some of Ashley's work with some snatch mom stuff, and then I did some power clean and jerks. Um, and then we both squatted, which was pretty painful. <laughs> um, yeah, that was brutal. You were squatting uh, uh, progressively heavier. Uh, every minute? Every minute, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then that a was terrible. A light drop set of what, like a five sets of five? Yeah. Every yeah. two minutes. With eighty three point three percent. Yeah. Eighty three percent. If it was eighty three point three, you would have been squatting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that seemed brutal, and that was fast paced, also. Yeah. That was that was crazy. Yeah. How That's many days a week do you guys lift? Uh, five. Yeah, probably five. Yeah. Usually two off days. One of them's like an active recovery type day. Two so. off days. You guys are lazy. I know. <laughs> yeah. And then um, videos to come on your workout today. But uh, how long is a typical workout, or how many? Like, do you do two a days, or? Yeah, mostly I do two a days. So I'll train for about two to three hours. You know lifting and then doing uh, metcon and then we usually take about an hour or two break or even four hours just depends um and then i'll do some accessory work and another workout in the afternoon i'll probably do that like three day three or four days a week um and then the day's active recovery so today was kind of typical yeah yeah ouch you guys get real sore from it or is it because uh you're doing like full body often where you're not really getting like real crazy soreness um sometimes occasionally uh, like we both did a prowler workout yesterday that was pretty brutal. So my legs are kind of smoked, but, right. but not too much. I mean, if I do something I haven't done in a while, like I recently repeated one of last year's regional workouts that had 50 ring dips in it. 
That's pretty no, sore. Dips from, always make me sore. Yeah, so <laughs> I felt like I did a thousand reps of bench the next day, which was a little weird. But um, that shit hurts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So n- yeah, ring dips were brutal, but but yeah, not too bad. I mean, overall fatigue every That's now and again. Say, yeah. But but yeah, not you know. Sore. What's the worst part of what you guys do? Like, do your hands get beat up, or is there something in particular? Yeah, everything that's I see on Instagram is people's hands. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hand just ripped up constantly. That sucks because then you're just screwed yeah. for the next few workouts. I try um, to be pretty smart. Like yeah. I have a little, like if I have a competition, I'm gonna go till they rip because it's right. a competition. But right. in yeah. training, I try to be pretty smart with my hands mm-hmm. and not let them tear. Mm-hmm. I mean, because yeah, then you can't use them for like a week, you know. So mm-hmm. for the most part, I'm pretty pretty smart about that. What do you guys have coming up? Anything coming up? You got uh, you got regionals coming up. When is that? Uh, May twenty second. Three week, four weeks. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty soon. How do you guys feel about that? Are you getting uh, getting nervous? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous. And, you know, they'll announce the workouts, I think, probably next Friday. So mm-hmm. I'll either be really less nervous or really more nervous, depending on what they are. But yeah. it'll be good to know what they are. Right. How do you guys feel about the change in format this year? Um, I think it's – I mean, for me, it's going to be kind of crazy. I mean, I've never competed as an individual, and now I'm competing against all of the best athletes in all of California, which is right. – pretty intense you know i was like okay i can handle norcal like but now to double the size of elite athletes it's yeah. i'm nervous you know i don't know i've never done this big of an individual competition three days long um so i'm not really sure what to expect for myself but i'm excited can you guys just run down that change for the people in the audience who are not up on crossfit <clears throat> yeah so last year it was top 48 48 from <clears throat> NorCal, top 40 from SoCal, and then this year they combined them. And then so it's top 20 from NorCal, top 20 from SoCal. We'll, so 40 people will go for all of California. So then you wow. go to regionals, and how many go to the games? Five, Five. will go to the games. Yeah. From your region. And yeah. then how many people, uh, what's the number of like open people that competed in the open this oh, year? Oh, 100,000 something, 120,000, like 150. Yeah. <clears throat> it was like 200. Yeah, it might be like 200,000 yeah, people. Crazy. And then yeah. they bring that to how many at the games? How many for individual competitors? Uh, like a hundred or less? Yeah, I'm not sure how many regions oh, are our total. Yeah, but something like that, right? But we actually yeah. technically lost a spot because last year, so you had NorCal and right. SoCal, mm-hmm. so we had the top three um, from NorCal and the top three. You know, they're totally five. separate. Now yeah. it's five from all of California, yeah. so there's actually one less spot even. So <clears throat> right. it's even harder. Right, yeah. more applicants. Better yeah, athletes, more people every and it doesn't year. matter who you are either. Like Jason Kalipa, I know he's doing team or yep. something this year, but it doesn't matter if you're the champ. You still have to qualify yep. every year, and right. still, that's nuts. It just gets to be so competitive at a certain point. I think, you know, uh, when I started embracing CrossFit like a few years ago, I think you know a lot of people were a lot of people were pissed, and then when I came out with a power thing shoe and it says CrossFit on it, people were again pissed. <laughs> People are always sad that we talk about CrossFit all the time, but I just think it's because there's a misunderstanding of what mm-hmm. CrossFit really is, and I don't think I don't think people understand how driven a lot of you guys are, and also the great athletes that you guys are, the, the strengths that you guys have, the endurance that you're able to uh, endure is what I admire about it from day one, and anybody who's picking up a barbell, I'm a fan of. You know, it doesn't matter what uh, what sport they're doing to me. Uh, but there's been a lot of misconceptions about CrossFit and people, you know, they'll say, oh, this shit's weak or whatever. And I think uh, that really it's not true. Like CrossFitters are actually very strong. I mean, you just said you're deadlifting, you know, uh, three, th- over 350, 370. Yeah. You're squatting around 300 pounds, bench pressing 225 pounds. I mean, those are some exceptional weights. And some of the things that the guys can do are, are crazy as well. And And there's no level of competition like this. Uh, that's that exists for powerlifting or Olympic lifting, and so I think people need to kind of come down from their soapboxes and stop, uh, you know, stop raging on about uh, how how tough and how great their sport is, and just kind of admire what some some of the other people are doing. Yeah, Mark, uh, Jim, and I are kind of in a weird uh, spot in the fitness world. We're really in between, um, kind of like this YouTube fitness world, general fitness, powerlifting, and then CrossFit. YouTube hates CrossFit. They everybody, you know? yeah, everybody in the regular uh, kind of fitness community, i.e., want to be bodybuilders. Yeah, you suckers that are listening. <laughs> uh, hate it right because they see videos online of probably just random classes with right. random coaches doing terrible deadlift form mm-hmm. but what they don't see is the elite athletes and how uh, good their form is and how good like your guys' squats are perfect you know once they see the video on there like your squat form is better than uh, it was awesome it's better than 60 percent of the guys here at super training and we're right. an elite powerlifting gym yeah. you know and your numbers are, are 
well beyond elite in the powerlifting world mm-hmm. and people have no clue or no respect for that but mm-hmm. you go to crossfit gyms that have crappy coaches which there are some mm-hmm. yeah it was crappy crappy place. athletes yeah which there's plenty right. in, in this world we're full of mediocre people around <laughs> us and their form sucks but you go down to 24-hour fitness and you guys probably look at them like wow you guys are so <laughs> out of shape what are you you're in the gym every single day and you're this you know weak and you can't run and you yeah. don't look good Well, I mean, all the strength coaches that I started working with about a year ago talked so much shit about CrossFit, and especially when I first started, but then they saw my numbers go up and getting stronger, and that was when they were like, oh. It's becoming a lot more popular, yeah, in in, uh, the NCAA and in Yeah, strength and conditioning uh, world, MLB, and yeah. New Orleans Saints are all about it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like what, you know, I – because the coaches over there at Cal ask me all the time, you know, okay, well, what is CrossFit? You know, some of the stuff that... That's really hard argue, to answer, isn't it? Yeah, you could argue that a ton of the stuff that me, other strength conditioning coaches, circuit type stuff, because it's not in a CrossFit gym, is it CrossFit? I'm yeah. sure if you put it in a CrossFit gym, yeah, it's CrossFit. <laughs> so it's, yeah. you know, you could, you know, talk yourself in circles all day about right. that, but... I find what you guys, you know, do and the way that it's set up, like really intriguing, like the way that you did your squat workout today. I think it was about 20 minutes of squats, right? And I think that that alone, just setting a time, no matter what rest interval you're using, um, even if you're using four or five minutes rest, like a power lifter would, if you, if you just set a clock for 20 minutes for some of your top sets, I think would be a good concept. That way it moves you along to your other exercises that you need to get to. Mm -hmm. You guys need to be Mm well-rounded. In a lot of different movements and a lot of different exercises so it makes sense that you're continually moving on uh, to other movements but to add to that when you do something with a time restriction to it and you're doing it in a fatigue state mm-hmm. you don't need to use as much weight you're getting more out of using less yeah mm-hmm. well you know you guys come in and say oh we did you know an emom or every minute on the minute workout and powerlifters or bodybuilders will laugh at you but two weeks ago we had uh, one of the strongest squatters in the world chris duffin on here um probably the best you know squat in history and he says well there's three ways i get better i move the bar faster i do the same amount of work in less time yeah, yeah. stan everything right. said the yeah. same yeah. thing or or i move more weight yeah. and you guys do it and people laugh yeah. what do you yeah. think about that what kind of people how do you train some of your swimmers do you use crossfit concepts general concepts i mean we i wouldn't say i use crossfit but i would say that crossfit has definitely made me a better coach i would say from I mean, I have my Olympic lifting technique has gotten significantly better since I started CrossFit. I think especially when you're trying to get to that elite level, if you're not efficient, you're going to suck. So I think the fact that I've been able to get better myself and because I've done some of these workouts, I can better coach them. So, I mean, we do circuit type stuff. Um, we I wouldn't say I put them through. What's the main CrossFit, limiting factor with CrossFit why you can't just completely adapt CrossFit to some of these athletes? I would say, especially, I would say it's pretty limited to like barbell cycling stuff. Like I wouldn't have my swimmers do, you know, high rep cleans because what we're trying to get out of the cleans is completely different than what I'm trying to get. Their conditioning is, their conditioning is done in the pool right? and their strength training is done in the gym. Yeah. I got you. Exactly. Or for CrossFit for you is more of a sport. So you have to be good at all of them and good at combining them. Right. So my, exercise it's almost like i try to explain it to some of my athletes it's like if in swimming your race was your practice set or something like that that's kind of how um i can best describe it to them but um but yeah and especially with injuries like that we tend to not do some of the stuff we would do in crossfit just because swimming polo they're already (coughs) their shoulders are already so beat up from that so no reason to hit them with heavy overhead stuff and no. What do you do mobility work with them and a little bit um they do a lot of that on their own we try to fit that in as much as we can I usually have like hour hour and a half with the team so mm. it's so not you, you a have to be really lot. efficient then yeah. yeah um and they're pretty good about it I have a little mm. longer with polo lifts three days a week swimming only two so that time is super precious because you know I see them two hours a week out mm. of the 20 plus hours that they train so we try to get the most bang for a buck do you find that there's um <clears throat> do you have like attitude problems with any not not necessarily not any specific individuals but like people come in at that level and they know they're pretty good do, do oh, they 
Yeah. <laughs> Prima donnas. And Absolutely. I think especially when you get to a school like Cal that has such an amazing aquatics program. Yeah. You've had people that have already achieved so much success doing what they were doing. Right. So they're like, yeah. well, why wouldn't I just keep doing what I'm doing? So I think, you know, we usually do get those people that don't want to do different things. They don't want to do stuff they're bad at. Right. Um, and usually it just takes them a little while to adjust to the culture of it. I would say training um, training a guy's team was very interesting mm. for me um, as a younger female. Uh, I was incredibly nervous at first to right. take on a guy's team. With women swimming, I, you know, swam for the coaches. That was super easy. The girls, you know, really respected my role. Yes, I, I swam with some of them. I was friends, but they knew that they, you know, had to listen to me. Mm -hmm. With men's polo, it was it was definitely very nerve wracking. Um, it took a few beat down workouts and me <laughs> lifting in front of them. To, I was just going to say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those guys tend to um, have a rep, you know, yeah. for, yeah. for being, um, you know, jokers and maybe assholes. You know, assholes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word yeah. you're looking for. They <laughs> have, I was probably the most intimidated to coach that team, but honestly, they've been, Awesome. And once they bought into what I was trying to sell to them, mm. it's been amazing. But it is, you know, with I think even with the coaches I work with, with male athletes, I think it took and I mean, I, I get it to a point that they're like, OK, well, I, she can outlift me. I should probably listen. Yeah. To what her, am I going to so. learn from a chick until they <laughs> see you lift? And they're like, oh, right. shit, I better yeah. listen. Up. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Like if I couldn't do what I was telling them to do, then I you know, what credibility do I right, have? Right. So, um, yeah, so it definitely took, you know, them watching me out squat them. And I mean, they can out bench me, but that right, right. um, <laughs> doesn't take a whole lot. But, um, do you guys end up being like ambassadors for CrossFit sometimes? Like, do you feel like, uh, you know, you, I don't know, you run into somebody that, you know, maybe wants to work out or maybe it's a family member just talking at like Thanksgiving about wanting to drop weight. Do you guys <laughs> yeah. ever kind of say, Hey, you want to come or is it, or is it too hard? Is CrossFit like too hard for someone to like just jump into? Like, no, not you guys... at all. I mean, I think anyone can really do CrossFit. Yeah. And, even, and I think people are super intimidated. Um, but once they get in the gym, they realize it's, it's, there's so many different people there. Right. I was just at this paleo conference this last uh, weekend, and one of the girls that was staying at the house where we were staying at, um, she, is really she's pretty out of shape right um you know never really worked out and she knows um me we knew each other through instagram and stuff and um told me she just started the on-ramp program at her crossfit gym near her and it was super cool to hear just like yeah. so excited about it she said like i never wanted to go in because i was super intimidated you know i see she, she told me she said i see the stuff you post and i was like there's no way i could ever do that and it's like they don't they don't realize that's not what crossfit is about like we train as elite athletes but that's not the main goal of crossfit you go into right. crossfit game to get in shape and so but it's just she just talked to me for like an hour about how great her program was the first week and how everyone there was like her and right. how excited she was about it you know so i think the workouts can be scaled for anybody right anyone, i mean it, totally. you know so if you're doing handstand push-ups and somebody else can't do it basically you're looking for them to do some sort of shoulder movement maybe they just do like an overhead press or something right. like that right yep you guys have both uh, coached some CrossFit classes, I believe. Yeah. What, like, uh, how often does the regular person work out? Uh, or do you suggest workout? Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely all depends. All right. Um, you're dealing with a fat guy. <laughs> and, you know, maybe He's got three bad days eating. a week all right, or there something, we go. you know? Yeah, and yeah. they just come in for the one hour class three days a week. And yeah. you think uh, you can get them a little stronger? They'll yeah. lose a little bit of weight. Yeah. You don't want to beat them up right off out the get go. So you're not going to tell them to come in five days a week or anything. It's all right, and Smelly. Three days a week, bud. <laughs> That's all you need. I start tomorrow. <laughs> going on Monday. <laughs> starting Monday. on. Yeah. His girlfriend tomorrow? was talking yeah, about. Monday. <laughs> his girlfriend was talking about starting on Monday. And it was, uh, what was it, Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's We're like, like well, I don't mean, I didn't Monday. mean this Monday. I yeah. mean next Monday. Yeah, Mondays. <laughs> I'm like, oh, away. my God. Yeah. Starting on Monday. Everyone always says that. <laughs> One of the questions that we ask around here is about supplements, about um, protein, fish oil, whatever. Is there anything you guys like take routinely, daily? Yeah, let's go uh, Beaver first because I don't want to uh, change the question for her. And you guys will find out why. Go ahead. Okay. okay. <laughs> First, the supplements? Yeah, yeah. What do you take uh, or what do you like or not like? So I never really was into supplements very much. I just like, I didn't, 
understand them. No one's ever really had really explained them to me. So don't actually take that much. Um, I do take the X endurance pills just for, um, they help with recovery a little mm. bit. Um, and I do take fish oil and then I, I drink protein after I work out, but that's, and try to eat a lot of protein. Yeah. Yeah. I get most of myself, you know, from food. I mean, right. I just try to eat really healthy. So I think that's the only three things that I, are you eating like five or six times a day or something like that? Or, uh, no, I mean, I eat three meals a day okay. and then I have, like I said, my protein shake and maybe a protein bar, but I pretty much stick to three meals. They're pretty big meals, right. but, um, it's just, I mean, I eat my breakfast, I go to the gym and I'm at the gym for like five hours. So I'll eat my lunch while I'm there. Right. And when I get home, it's almost dinner time. So including so. snacks and shakes or whatever, it might be like five or six meals, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Probably about Something five. Like yeah. I wanted to switch the conversation a little bit just because, uh, your fitness background is a little more academic. Mm-hmm. And uh, the academic world, at least from what I read and watch, you know, different um, nutritional scientists, blah, 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 are way more strict. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, have you heard the term bro science? Mm-hmm. So are there any bro science things you do? And what did like uh, you learn in school that maybe changed how you supplement or train? Um, honestly, I feel like I knew nothing while I was in school about eating habits, supplements, anything like that. Um, I really wish I knew all the things I know now back when I was swimming because, I mean, obviously you can always say, oh, I could have gone faster, I could have done this, I could have done that. But, and that's one thing that I love that has, you know, come through doing CrossFit is that I know so much more about nutrition and supplementing your diet. And now I can kind of relay this to, I mean, we have a nutritionist at Cal who's, really beneficial to the athletes, but I think it's really cool when I can not only help them in the weight room, but help, you know, make better decisions outside too. Yeah. Are there any supplements you take now that are, um, I take fish oil, magnesium. Um, I mean a pre-workout and protein, but that's about it. Nothing fancy. No, if I take too much, I end up, you know, just not following through. I'll forget. And Mm. it's just, if I have too much to take, it's yeah, just, the best. Yeah. You have somebody helping you with your nutrition, right? Yeah. So RP Strength, I started working with them. Mike uh, Istria. Tell. Yeah. Nick Shaw is the one who. All right. uh, uh, or his yeah. partner. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, his partner. Not uh, real partner, but right, maybe. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> who Starring knows? rumors. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so I started. I did a competition with actually my coach. Um, we did a partner competition and. I felt awful throughout all the body weight stuff. I was like 176, the heaviest I had ever been. I mean, my like squat, all that stuff felt great, but burpees felt so shitty. It was horrible. So finally decided to uh, jump on with RP Strength, and it's been definitely a hard process. Um, I, I kept emailing Nick the Nick's first Nick's super week. jacked, by the way. Yes, you guys should Google is. him. <laughs> yeah, he's jacked. He's ripped. Um, and I kept emailing him the first couple of days being like, I'm starving. Is this normal? <laughs> and I think I was just so unaware of how much I was eating and how irregular the timing of when I was eating to when I was working out. And since I've started, my energy levels are better for workouts. Um, I feel way better about my performance and physical appearance. Um, I look back at pictures now, and you kind of have no idea, you know, in the moment. But looking back, I was like, oh, my God, I was getting yeah. Other good people notice more chubby, than you. But yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah. It's it was a pretty quick awesome. turnaround time for you, too, like just a couple of months, right? Yeah, within, I think, three months, I was down over, like, 12 pounds, had gained some muscle. and oh, that's good. Um, yeah, it was a it was a life changing. What's the uh, general plan they have you on? Just describe it quick so you don't uh, they don't. Yeah, so um, so they break down the timing of when I eat. So when I wake up to coach, I'll have protein shake, a little bit of peanut butter. Um, then I eat again around ten thirty, which is usually like I make these like egg white cups with broccoli in them. Have Sounds that. gross. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, Sounds exactly. healthy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> egg whites and broccoli. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to be a body um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I feel like I'm eating for. Um, and then I'll have lunch around 2.30 um, before I train. And then dinner. Just most of my carbs are at night after I've worked out. So, yeah. You have a little bit of carbs before the training session also or not really? A little bit. Um, not a whole lot. And then I'll have some carbs during the workout. Um, most of them after, a little bit before bed. Um, started making... 
So I had to drink casein pudding before bed, and I got really sick of that. Yeah. So now I make a casein pudding, which is actually really good. <laughs> you uh, you can also have uh, cottage cheese, uh, yogurt. Um, no dairy on. What's that? This one, no dairy. For casein me. is dairy. Yeah. Well, that, but I can't <laughs> have yogurt. Oh. So. Why not? Fired. What I kind of fucking rules are? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to this fucking guy. <laughs> anyway. That's a bunch yeah. of so uh, generally, uh, lightish to moderate fat, medium carb, and kind of high protein. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, rest days are usually super low carb, a little more fat. Do you know what this diet protein. is called? RP diet. This is called a body bling yeah. diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's been around for literally fifty or sixty yes. years. That's it's my plan after CrossFit. I'm going to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference uh, sometimes between between a performance based diet and or in my opinion, what is the best form of a performance-based diet uh, and a bodybuilding style diet, like as in somebody like preparing to get on the stage is uh, just the amount of fat that you take in. Yeah, or calorie so restriction. Like a, yeah, yeah, so like a, bo- a bodybuilder, you know, somebody that's, uh, you know, in season, uh, the amount of fat that they uh, take is going to be really, really low. Even for a guy my size, it might be like 50 or 60 grams a day, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes even lower. Um, and then for performance based, like someone just might jack my fat grams up to like 80 or 100. Yeah. But you'll still be Looked able to. Look like you jacked your fat grams <laughs> up, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're through the roof. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting because, you know, we hear these different things get bashed by different people. You know, CrossFit mm-hmm. getting bashed by power lifters. And for years, people have bashed bodybuilders, you know, mm-hmm. about their type of training or their style of nutrition. But their style of nutrition is second to none. Like they know how to diet, oh, yeah. but you know, the yes. Atkins diet. Mm-hmm. Um, all these different styles of diet have basically come from uh, people taking their bodies to the next level in a sport like bodybuilding. Well, I think often, uh, I mean, I don't know, some historian is going to kill me, but like uh, <laughs> the first people like started to lift weights to kind of look good. Like obviously yeah. people wanted to, uh, you know, build houses and shit and go to war back in the day, but they didn't like work out to become a better warrior. But like right. in, in modern whatever, 40s, yeah. 50s, 60s, you lifted weights to look good. Right. Yeah. Well, they're you obviously know, bodybuilding. Arnold, made up exercise. Arnold's way more popular than um i can't think of any names or even ed Cohn. right you yeah. know just because he tried to look good not trying right. to perform well but those ideals have been around for so long you look if at the greek, like a greek god yeah, yeah it's like yeah. oh yeah. i know about yeah. greek gods and roman and you're like oh my god you know and these people look amazing something i heard today that it's sort Dude, of my ten- ass is killing me is anyone else <laughs> this chair sucks why smell get that chair <laughs> it's my own chair me and the ladies are on these <laughs> shitty metal chairs i'm a, my own chair a pretty too. comfortable wood one and yes, mark's got this my fancy chair fucking <laughs> well we'll have a stand-up one Damn. soon about yes. two weeks maybe yes. if i had stand booties up. like these two i'd have some cushion to sit <laughs> on cushion, cushion for the pushing now, something i heard today about about pl- the placebo effect which you know basically oh i know they, you know nah, they g- know, give you the a placebo. sugar g- give you a sugar p- a pill and you have a, a reaction to it yeah and it had always been believed that it was because you believed the pill would work that it would work turns out that it's genetic and you will respond to a placebo whether or not you believe in it if you're that, if the person that has this genetic, you're coming marker. deep with the matrix okay. talk today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> So why wouldn't that work the same way with, with supplements? Because I know people who say, I, I swear by this supplement, it yeah, worked yeah, yeah. for me. I think yeah. it does. It totally works. Because people me. say like, uh, oh, I started taking creatine and I gained weight or I like got stronger. I was like, I've taken creatine a thousand times. I don't feel <laughs> shit. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I think uh, you know part of that would be uh, that when people uh, use supplements that they start to get into a routine. That so you would out hope, harder. Yeah. You would hope that somebody's not having uh, you know two protein yeah. shakes a day and uh, having these like intra workout carbohydrates and uh, taking all these different right. supplements that they Just feel to play like Xbox. great. Xbox. <laughs> well, they feel are great for them, <laughs> yeah, right. uh, only to go out at night and get hammered. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. and kind of repeat. I did that, that for a while though. <laughs> repeat that. Yeah, every, a lot yeah. of people have, yeah. but yeah. It, the two are so conflicting from each other. That even a moron after a little while would be like, well, maybe I should stop this, you know, and right. while I'm, you know, working towards that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I'll try to link that study. I think it was like, uh, remember. for like everything though, too, uh, I might have brought this up, but there's like non responders. Like, yeah. there's non responders to creatine, there's non responders to blah, 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 yeah. but there's like non responders to working out. Yeah. How sad is that? That is There's sad. people that could work out perfectly and, and like nothing barely happens. ever gain yeah. muscle. God damn. Or, or get stronger. I don't yeah. Have that problem. yeah. Favorite food, Colleen? Yeah, let's go with uh, favorite healthy and then favorite shitty. Um, favorite healthy. Food. Hopefully, your diet coach not listening. I know, really. <laughs> um, 
Oh gosh. Penis guess, is like, not no. not a food. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Hey now. Uh, probably hamburgers. I really like. Um, yeah, hamburgers are great, and they c- yeah. can never be messed up. Really. Do you go what cheese, bacon, the whole? Uh, depends. Oh. I mean, cheat night. Yes. No. But, let's just say uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, not healthy food. I I have a huge sweet tooth, so baked goods are. Why don't we downfall. make a cookie that's got hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> No one's ever done it before. <laughs> I wonder I'll why. Try that this <laughs> yeah, a little cheese, a little savory, bacon. sweet. Yeah, yeah. I like I, where your head's at, Smelly. You really are fat, buddy. I You've know. Seen donut buns, but this is a total. Oh yeah, thing. they oh, put yeah. a burger in between, like Krispy Kreme, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try or, that. Or like you put ice cream in between. So oh, ice cream. there's this place. There's this place. <laughs> I don't know if I was talking about this, but they re they refry it. So they'll chop it up. Oh, let's go eat. Let's like just a jelly, here, please. <laughs> like a jelly donut. And then they'll do like a whole cold stone action. Choose the ice cream. Choose your toppings. Jeez. Close it. Refry it. And it's just trapped in there. Fuck. Oh, that sounds awesome. I mean, I started thinking about my cheat meals like on Monday. Yeah, very strategically. I just had one like Saturday. And I, it's so bad. I is like it just that. a meal or is it like you set your clock? Like it's a CrossFit I mean, workout. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes ahead. Every, go. Minute, every minute on the minute. <laughs> I have to say, my first probably I, when I first started RP, I was like, I don't need cheat meals. I'm just gonna go for it. I want to see. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. And then I got to Saturday. I was like, fuck this. I need <laughs> meal. Um, and they were probably a little too aggressive at the beginning. Um, Nick wasn't very happy. I don't think Nick knows about some of these. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, as a coach, though, like when you give somebody advice, you give them like advice that's a little bit harder because you know that they're not going to follow right. it all the way. So he yeah. probably knows full well you're going to yeah. go all you know full out fat girl on cheat meal. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it, it got pretty bad. Um, it, was, it was totally worth it. Though. It was so good. <laughs> Favorite food, Beaver? Um, I probably just a good steak or something. Yeah. yeah. What about pizza? Are you guys into pizza? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was I don't, I don't like cheese. cheese. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think Mike likes cheese that much either. Yeah, but you? if it's on pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. I don't like eggs. Mm. I like mm. eggs. Especially I lukewarm stuff. eggs. What's wrong but, with you Brits? <laughs> but a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich on a hard roll in game. New York City. Game on. Yeah, game you're on. Down, that you were was down delicious. With that? Yeah, or pizza. I can do pizza. Either one of you ladies ever been in New York City? No. I went there for a day. <laughs> yeah? What'd you go for? Uh, well, I used to work for a company that put on classic car shows, and we had a show, oh, shit. Oh. A show oh. in Pennsylvania. That's pretty cool. And so we went into New York for one, one night. <laughs> oh, wow. But I didn't get to see much. But yeah. Damn. I did have pizza. Oh. oh. With no cheese. Oh. <laughs> Hold the <laughs> cheese. I had a breadstick in New York. <laughs> <laughs> but it was gluten-free. <laughs> That's sad. What's the last thing that was Googled on your phones? Oh, this is great. I'll do mine, too. Oh, my phone's dead. Where? 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 Oh, here yeah. you go. That's yeah. a good way out of it. <laughs> Everybody check the left. That's yeah, great. Yeah. We talked about doing this and never did it. How do you do it. that? I think you just click on your Google. Just, I don't know. Yeah, don't, don't lie. Don't lie. Phone. CrossFit Invictus programming. There you go. That's really boring. <laughs> we just it's visited them the other, the other week or a month ago, I guess now. Yeah. Hung out with CJ and all that. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice. I don't know how They're that also Yeah, CJ Martin. I looked up the game's website to see if Chad made it to the game. God damn, you guys are me. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little and nervous. And he did. Oh, Chad, <laughs> Chad made it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, Chad. Yeah, go Chad. I already, <laughs> he like uh, was scared because there was like a max snatch. Yeah. I ran in and was working. And then he PR'd. Yeah, that's so awesome. awesome. Yeah. That guy's a machine. That sounded yeah. very sexual. <laughs> max snatch and then he PR'd all over the place. <laughs> 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 that sounded good. You're oh, gross. <laughs> I am gross. <laughs> what else you got, Smelly? Would you, would you Google, you perv? Oh, I don't, I don't think I don't think that's important. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put this away. Whose dumb idea was this? Yeah. <laughs> Pornhub? What's this on here? Whoops. Who needs that? Jesus. Gross. Oh, I am gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, poop stories? <laughs> po- yeah, any poop? Yeah. Any good poop stories? Everybody tells us poop stories. Chrissy told us one. I heard. Yeah, she no, did. I bet you yes. heard. <laughs> yeah, we got a little lady loving going on. Yeah, Chrissy's <laughs> madly in love with yeah. you. How do you how yeah. do you want to respond to that? Yeah, yeah this is your chance to shout out well, to Chrissy. Well, we met after. Oh, after yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was candles. Now Ashley's oh, jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. No, no candles. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but she's awesome. Really cool girl. 
She did get overly excited when we mentioned your yeah. name last. Yeah, I forgot last what time we, she was here. We we're like, oh yeah, like Colleen and Kim and she she went, <gasps> Kim, Kim and Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, still want to meet Kim. Kim is. I mean, I only know her through Instagram, but she is Kim, yeah. a badass. Yeah, no, that's one of the girls. Kim that trains Valentine, here. Kim Tran, yeah. little jacked Asian girl, four hundred two oh, pound squat. Oh, that works out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes yeah, one hundred twenty three pounds. Yeah, she's crazy. Was that one twenty? Yeah, one twenty three, right? That's I don't know. It might have been one fourteens. Damn, I think it was one fourteens. Makes me feel really bad about myself. I know. That's some that dude. Makes me feel bad. That's some myself. fucking <laughs> yeah. That's, that's some dude strong, weight right there. That's man. crazy. Yeah. That's, That's really crazy. strong. Very strong. All right, you guys got anything else coming up? Anything yeah, plug fun? Plug away. What you got? Any, Beaver bites. Any oh, parties to go bites, to? Or anything? Beaver bites. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, after regionals, we both got grid. Yeah, um, like the next week. Hopefully, I want to take a mini vacation, hopefully, after the season's over. Um, I want to go to, like, Cancun or something, but and home. Mm. I didn't want to visit family, but... And <laughs> maybe home. <laughs> One or the other. I really wanted to go to Beta Breakers, but it's the weekend before regional, so I won't be going. <laughs> so, damn. Maybe Hawaii. My friend lives in Hawaii. She wants us to come visit. So, mm. and C- Chrissy May has a great apartment in New York, in the NYC, <clears throat> which that's where these guys stay? stayed. Yeah. No. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Didn't she? I heard Drew. But she's moving back, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's moving back yeah. in Re- Reno, <clears throat> Nevada. Hmm. Mm. Plug away. What's your Instagrams, websites, anything you got? Live in Paleo, and my my website's live in Paleo Cuisine dot com, or beaverbites dot com. <laughs> Sweet. Just Colleen Foch on Instagram. Why are you smiling? You know how many no. purrs are about to come. <laughs> no no purrs. <laughs> <the> purr. <laughs> and my phone number is. <laughs> <laughs> She loves direct messages, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. She was telling us earlier. I Send her done. a smiley face. Works every time. I got sent a picture of a rose once. Oh, my Sweet. God. I said, this is just real. That's, that's <laughs> better than the pictures I get from that. Yeah. yeah. Our conversations get weird within super training. Oh, my God. You're going to get a bunch of, like, donut and cookie pictures now. Oh, that's horrible. We had to block that's all the guys me. from coming in today. Seriously. Oh. We yeah, didn't. we didn't tell anybody. Yeah. It was a secret... Uh, did well, Mark we started. Tell you to show up with no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he told me. Of. And you didn't listen. I know. I almost, I almost did, but yeah. said it last minute. In We're case you guys who, who are so audio only listeners haven't figured it out, this might be an episode that you'll want to check out on YouTube. <laughs> Just trying to get YouTube views. <laughs> All right, ladies, it was awesome having you on the show. Yeah, thank Thanks. you for having us. Multiply your hustle, multiply your muscle. I'm at Mark Smelly Bell on Instagram, and may all your shits be tapered. You guys can find me at Ass on the Mic with two Ks, and stay healthy, my friends. I'm Jim McD, STTV, everywhere that I would want you to find me. Follow the show on Instagram, at Mark Bell's Powercast, Facebook.com slash Super Training Jim, and uh, Twitter at SGGM Sack. Also, check out supertraining.tv for videos and youtube.com slash supertraining06 and supertraining TV. Yeah. Subscribe to Power Magazine at thepowermagazine.com. If you choose the digital edition, you can catch up on all the great back issues, take your training to the next level with Slingshot products at howmuchyoubench.net, and look for PSN products including NO Explode at bodybuilding.com. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.